Hello FIFA faithful, Bearhams here, and welcome to episode 4 of my Minnesota United career mode. Before we get into our game today against Club de Foot Montreal, hopefully I said that right, let's talk about the game that just happened against Austin FC. In one word, I would describe their performance as uh... Again, another piss poor performance by the Loons. I've been to both games at Allianz this season and it's been painful. This team has been plagued with injury and ineligibility as Robin Lud and Baki Debasi were out once again with Knox and Loons are still waiting for Adrian Unu and Franco Fragapane to make their way to Minnesota. In terms of offense, this might have been the most boring game. Only Patrick Way's debut served as a consolation. It's not good when the team is missing most of their attacking presence with a guy up top who's still not familiar with the system in Ramon Abila. You could say the defense played better with Alonso starting, but Gasper needs to stop turning over the ball in his own third. That was probably the most frustrating part of the evening. He was just trying way too hard to just make something happen. This week, I'm not going to do a top or bottom three. I'm just going to end the segment on this. Recently, I've gotten into investing and, to be exact, in stocks and cryptocurrency. Last season, it's safe to say the Loon stock overperformed to the Western Conference Finals, and a lot of people bought in on the high and now losing three games in a row, everyone is panic selling due to their dreadful performances. When it comes to stocks, you buy low, you sell high, and right now is the right time to invest in the future with this team. Adrian Unu at striker, Fabello at cam, Fragapani and Lude on the wings, Gregush and Dotson and Trapp in the midfield along with Alonso. Then you have Metnair, Boxel, Debassi, and St. Clair between the sticks. There's still a lot of upside to this team, and while the MLS experts and bandwagoners are, as I said, panic selling, I'm going to buy more into the dip, knowing things will improve, and maybe moon. But right now, I just got to huddle. I think for this episode, instead of one game, let's do two. We're going to play Montreal on the 21st, then we'll shift on over to the month of April on the 4th to take on San Jose Earthquakes. For this opening game against Club de Foot Montreal, we do have a side that I hope to see this weekend against Colorado Rapids, though how this season's gone, probably not. If you have not seen my top five, bottom five jerseys of 2021, make sure to check that out. Montreal is heavily featured, and one of the main reasons is because of their new identity, which to me is ridiculous. I hate the idea of them as Montreal, Club de Foot, whatever. Impact was such an impactful name, not to play into the pun, but like even Montreal natives, like they know who the impact is. They have the haves and they have the impact. They used to have the expos, but now it's just whatever this is, and the Habs. We'll find that Grey Goosh eventually is now met in air with some space. Serres that through. Reynoso with a shot, but a good save. I'm going to be looking for some light gray jerseys. He's cutting in. There's a shot. Oh, wow. I thought he had no support, but he's able to slip it through to Quito. And Montreal with the early lead in the 20th minute. Goosh, Grey Goosh does find a Bila. Bila looking to get his way through. We'll find Reynoso. Reynoso, ooh, with a wide angle shot. Did not take a deflection, interestingly enough. So now Grey Goosh gets cut around. Oh, a good shot by Kyoto, trying to get his second goal of the game. Oh, Metinair misses it, though. Boxel's able to recover. Not for long, though. Slip pass through to Kyoto, but a good save by Dane St. Clair. It's so now Grey Goosh. Out wide, Robin Lud. Does have a run from Abila, possibly, as Abila. Tries to bully his way past Struna. Though Struna, the former Serie A center back, able to get it away, and that will do it for the opening half. Just like real life, no goals, no shots. Haven't been effective in the final third. Things need to change in the second half. It's Lud. Oh, maybe slip pass. Reynoso, a chance for a shot. Takes it and scores. Get the equalizer from Emmanuel Reynoso. Good hold up play by Abila. Able to thread that through to his old teammate in Argentina. Now we have the equalizer. Let's get the game winner. Robin Lud does see a run from Abila, but Abila will hold on to it. But he does see a run from Reynoso. Reynoso slides his way through. A chance for a second goal for Emmanuel Reynoso. Cuts back. Tries to take the shot, but a good play by Struna. Perfect time for subs. We're going to bring Dots into a left back role since he can't play that. And we are going to bring on 
Let's bring on Patrick Weah. Let's see what the youngster can do. Ships it out wide to Robin Lud. Robin Lud did have a run from Trap, but he's going to get it back to Reynoso. Takes the shot, but a good save by Diop. So pass maybe to Grey Goosh. Grey Goosh with a good tackle. Able to keep it in. Jan Grey Goosh with a chance here. Might pass it to Abila, but he's just going to keep it for himself. Gets tangled up with the defender. As there goes that opportunity, but a great showcase of effort from Jan Grey Goosh. It's now Dotson. Can take a shot from distance. Will take it. Oh, and he hits the crossbar. Goodness gracious. Fasani Dotson has been known to score some bangers from time to time. And that could have been one. I think he's just going to get that final kick from Diop. Ref will blow the whistle. Unless a chance here. Reynoso really could have gave us one more chance. I was ready to shoot it. But that will do it. We get a point at least. I mean, we were down at first, but then got a decent goal. Oh, Mason Toy did make an appearance. I did not see that at all. For this second game of the episode, we are taking on the San Jose Earthquakes. And I have no method to my madness when it comes to this formation. I just like the 5-3-2. And having Abila and Lud might be interesting. And then Reynoso, Trap, and Gregush as the midfield with Dotson as a left wing back. Kind of a mixture between the left wing that he's been playing in real life and the left back, right back that he played in years past. Then we have Kalman, Boxel, Nabasi, and Metnair as our other wing back, along with St. Clair, of course. Slips that through to Lud. Lud does see Reynoso, but he's the only one in the box. Looking for some support. Grey Goosh. Twists that around, gets it taken away, though he will recover. So Slovakian finds a Bila for some aid. And now Trap. Maybe a run. There's a chance. Robin Lud! Yes! Lower right corner, Robin Lud. Scoring from the left side of the pitch. Usually he's better on the right side. The Finn gets us on the board. We're up 1-0. Holds it. Finds Metinair. Maybe a chance for a man in the box. Throws that through to Lud! Oh, a good save. Maybe a chance for a rebound by Reynoso. But it will be cleared. But it's back with us as Lud... Abila taps that through to Trap with a shot, though. Takes a block, and now to Rios, and possibly a chance for a counter. Though our back three are back. San Jose looking to maybe equalize here at the end of the half. But they just keep passing around. Ref's not having it, so that will be the end of the first half. We'll head to the tunnel with the 1-0 advantage. Great goal by Robin Lud. Great first half altogether. Great passing. Just great possession in the final third. We look to hold on to this one for the final 45. No changes to the second half, though. There might be some soon. Depends on what happens in the first 15 minutes. I feel like if we do get another goal quick, might bring on some of the younger guys. If not, I think we'll try to bolster up our defense more. It's now Grey Goosh. Able to play through with the advantage. Does he a runner outside with Lud? Lud trying to overcome Lopez here, though he's going to have to cut back for some support. But... And cutting back, he'll lose it. He's able to keep it. Trap. Flings it out wide to Metinair. Metinair gallops. All that space to himself. What is he? No one's coming in to attack him, so he's just going to take it in himself. Takes the shot and scores! Ramon Metinair. Wow. No one just wanted to touch him. I think they were all anticipating the cross. They were trying to man mark the players running into the box. And then they forgot one thing. Oh, yeah, the guy with the ball. It's Metinair able to go near post. We have the two-goal advantage. For the final 20 minutes or so, we are bringing on Unu as a striker. We're bringing on Alonzo as a CDM. And we're bringing on Raitala for Dotson. Another long ball in the box. Looking for Wando. Great header by the veteran. But it's going to fall back to him. There's a shot. And there is the first goal for San Jose. Salinas able to get the countless rebounds. Finally putting one behind St. Clair. Now we just got to hold on for dear life to Unu. Gets that through. Maybe a, oh, maybe a chance here. Reynoso. Oh, with some skill boost scores! What a move by Emmanuel Reynoso. His fourth goal in as many games. Wow, a little roulette spin. Made the defenders hesitate a little bit. Puts that near post. I think we've gotten our first win. 
since I believe episode two. Oh, maybe a chance for another one here. Unu trying to slip his way past Lopez. Does get his head to it. Does get a foot to it. Does get taken down, but no call. Fair play. Both of them were jostling for the ball, and that will do it. Great way to end the episode. A 3-1 victory over San Jose. Goal by Reynoso, goal by Matt Nair, and a goal by Robin Wood. So that will do it for the episode. Five games in, three wins and a draw and a loss. Ten points, solid points per game average, sitting comfortably in fifth place. That's what I like to see after a poor last episode. And before we go, as always, my prediction for this upcoming game against Colorado Rapids. They never do well in Colorado. And with this form, it's going to continue. I think the Rapids are going to win by a score of 2-0. to nil. Yeah, I think it's going to be just another ugly game from Minnesota United unless they change their formation or Baki Debasi, Robin Wood, and some more players get back from injury. So, yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you for Episode 5. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, to the win.